Shanghai, I'm Anjali Rao in Beijing at Versace's first fashion show in China. My guest today is quite literally the prima donna of haute couture, Donatella Versace. This is Talk Asia. Backstage at Versace's first ever runway foray into China. Just moments before the show begins, fashion's first lady Donatella Versace does a final run-through. Early on, Donatella didn't intend to be in fashion, but fell under the spell of her older brother Gianni, who founded the eponymous label. His style of glamorous excess embodied an era. One week after Gianni Versace was killed. Then in 1997, he was shot dead at his Miami home by serial killer Andrew Cunanan. Donatella was thrust into the spotlight. And after less than three months, she launched her first show as designer. But the pressure of saving the Versace name and business soon proved daunting. Critics said the Versace luster was lost. The company ran into debt, and Donatella herself was admitted to rehab for drug addiction in 2004. Emerging refocused, she found her own style of design and the family-run business is thriving again with high-profile campaigns and expansion into new areas. We first meet Donatella in a hotel in downtown Beijing. It's been completely taken over by Versace and she arrives with a healthy entourage. Donatella, welcome to Talk Asia. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you. Now, this evening marks Versace's first show in China. Yes. How are you feeling about it all? I'm very excited about it. I've been working, I've created this past three days. Um, people have been very supportive and I'm very excited. My first show in Beijing in this amazing city. And uh, I'm looking forward for tonight. What's your vision for expanding Versace within China? Well, Versace was one of the first brands, if not the first brand, to open a, a shop in China. It was in 1979, so nobody else was here. But such was the first brand, Italian brand, to open in China. And uh, Chinese women seem to like for such a fashion because uh, it's feminine, it's uh, glamorous. And uh, since when we keep expanding, and we have 25 boutiques at the moment, and we're doing well. And uh, we, it's a strategic market for us. With the way that the global economy is right now, have you noticed any sort of an impact as far as China's appetite for luxury brands like yours? Well, uh, China has a huge appetite for luxury brand, this for sure. But I have to say the economic crisis is global and impacts all, every aspect uh, of a business. Um, I have to say luxury brands uh, uh, were lucky, my, my brand is lucky, because the, the clothes we do, what we do, not only clothes, um, uh, everything we do in our brand is, uh, is in a unique way that nobody can copy. So when you give a product which is so unique and uh, inevitable, people buy it. What's been your experience of doing business in China? Is it that much different from doing business in any other country? They want the real thing. They want, they want the real picture. They want from the accessory to clothes. They buy the whole style, the whole look together. In another country, maybe they like the accessories or they like the clothes. They take one thing or the whole look. Uh, Chinese people seem to like the whole look together. So it's good in a way. It's good because you can convey the message together. People often see the fashion industry as being shallow and frivolous, but your motivation for doing this fashion show tonight is anything but. It's in aid of the earthquake victims in Sichuan, which you have just toured. What did you witness while you were there? Well, I was uh, two days ago in the region of Sichuan, and um, I had the, the honor and the privilege to work with Jet Li and his foundation, the One Foundation. We put together a team of doctors as well as psychiatrists to uh, help the children to overcome the trauma, the post-trauma stress when after the earthquake. I have to say I was very, very touched of what, what I saw. These children uh, were already 400 in the place we went, the nation. They're really, really amazing. We have nothing, but we are so uh, grateful for what we did. And I'm very happy to see the result. I 
ಒಂದೇ ವರ್ಕ್ 